and then they wanted to them to predict what are the chances that these boys are going to end up in a penitentiary. So this group did that, and they consulted the statistics, they talked to the boys, they looked at the culture, um, they did all those things, and they came back and concluded that 90% of those 200 boys would spend some time in a pen penitentiary during their lifetime, the next 25 years. 25 years later, another group of graduate students at John Hopkins University picked up the other end of that research. Their job was to go find those boys and find out what happened to them. They did that. They found 180 of the original boys. They located them, and what they discovered was that only four of them had spent any time in a penitentiary, which totally blew the hypothesis of the research. So they had to discover what was wrong or what happened. They interviewed the boys. And consistently what they heard from these boys is, well, there was this one teacher. 75% of those boys referenced the same teacher, the same leader. They found this teacher in a nursing home, and they interviewed her, and they said, uh, they said, how did you exert this remarkable influence over the slum children? Could you give us any reason why these boys should have remembered you? And she said, looking up, mm, I can't think of anything, but I sure love those boys. Aww. She does that selflessly.